Hi everybody, this is Robin Sudoku Guy once with once more with another session and this time it's session number 14 and in this tutorial I'd like to show you a puzzle where we look at something before you even start the puzzle to see if you've got this situation and it's called the uh, <coughs> it's called top middle bottom or left center right TMB or LCR three numbers involved and in this case I don't know if you've noticed it yet but here we have a 256 and over in this block we have a 256 therefore there has to be a 256 in, in, in here now there's two ways of working this this is the longer way and I'll show you a shorter way and I'll do it in red so you can see we have a 256 possible here a 256 here and a 256 there now we look down to see if there's any of these numbers down in here and here we have a 5 so that gets rid of the 5 so it becomes a 2 6 here we have a 2 so that gets rid of the 2 here and you're left with a, a 5 6 and here in this column we have a 2 and a 6 so that gets rid of the 2 and the 6 and you're left with a real big 5 now when you're left with a real big 5, that means that this becomes a 6. And this therefore becomes a 2 and boom, 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 you're able to get the 2, 5, 6, these numbers in the middle. Just because you notice that there was 3 here on the top, 3 the similar numbers on the bottom, not necessarily in the same order, but they were in that particular spot in the block. And therefore in this block we have to have those 3 numbers. Not necessarily in the same order as here, but as long as those three numbers are in that section. So that's what I wanted to point out. The other way of doing it, it's a quicker way, but you've got to use your brain and mem do a bit more memory. I'll, I'll rub them out. You, you know that in your head, you've got to keep it in your head, it's good for the old brain. There's got to be a 2, 5 and a 6. So you say to yourself, 2, 5 and 6, here's a 5, so that has to be a 2, 6. Uh, here you have a 2. Uh, so that means a uh, 5, 6. Here you have a 2, 6. So that means it's a 2, um, two 6. That means it's a 5. Which means that this is a 6 and that's a 2. So you see how much faster we went using our uh, memory and not having to worry about rubbing out those little numbers. If you wanted to rub out the little numbers, you could. Okay, now let's go to uh, look at the puzzle again. You can, I can immediately see here that we have a vertical situation. This vertical situation occurs here. Can you see this? A 6, 7, 9, a 6, 7, 9 in the middle here, right, center. Therefore, down here you must have a 6, 7, 9. So let's put them all in, a 6, 7, 9, and see what happens. A 6, 7, 9, 6, 7, 9. This is the long way, 6, 7, 9. Now you don't have to keep them in your head, but it takes longer. Okay, 6, 7, 9, there's a 9 over there, so we can get rid of the 9, it leaves you with a 6, 7. There's a 6 here, so that get rid, leaves you with, it gets rid of the 6, so you're left with a 7, 9. There's a 9 here, so you're left with, uh, so that gets rid of that 9, you're left with a matching pair, 6, 7, which often happens in this situation. Now you've solved that, you can't go any further on that one, but you could very quickly, before you started the normal procedure, horizontal blocks with RAM and also using um, the cross technique at the same time. Because um, now we're going into more advanced puzzles. You can use cross technique as well as TMB, particularly when you only have one number. Now go ahead and solve this puzzle yourself. It's not a difficult one. And I'll see you in the next session, session number 15 where we show you another little trick. Bye for now.